I'll be honest, LinkedIn's been a complete game changer for me in terms of business. I didn't even know you could post. I literally did not know you could post. I'd never looked through, I'd never looked at a profile, I'd never commented. All I did is just added people. Well, here's the weird thing. I had 2,000 connections all in my business. Well, when you think about it, that's actually very, very bad business. So why do I need to be connected with another 1,999 personal trainers or coaches? All of my clients, they're all on LinkedIn anywhere between 35 and 55, well-off, good income, professional, stressed out business people. If you think about it, that's 99% of LinkedIn, isn't it, really, when you think about it? But I never used it as a platform until I had a coach 2017. He said, you ever thought about using LinkedIn? If you want to get a great connection with the type of clients that you want, and let's be honest, we, although we love our business, we're there to make income. Let's be, let's be real, yeah? This is American real, so let's be real. That's right. We're there to make we're there to make money, and I don't know another platform that's close to how good LinkedIn is in terms of business to business or business to client or client to business. And you, I'm sure you'll agree with me on that one. Wild, and if you don't know me, which is why I asked, you may think it's a plug. But let me be very much on the record. LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, the NFL, Orange Juice. I have no emotion for anything. I care about nothing except the end consumer. But with that preface, there's a very remarkable thing going on for the far majority of people in this room. For the last year I've been yelling on LinkedIn and many other platforms that LinkedIn is a really good place to put content. Right as we sit here today, the far majority of people's issue for their business, how many people own their business? Or the CEO, raise your hands. Okay, not that many. You should consider it, it's fun, I'm just kidding. But for the people that run marketing or make decisions or influence decisions, LinkedIn over the last six months to a year, and I don't know when this algorithm changes and when the supply and demand of attention and content changes, which is what happens to all these platforms. Uh, my favorite place for the last four years, Instagram is going through it right now for all the biggest content producers, especially personalities. The organic decline has just started. It's about to get nasty. A lot of influencers are gonna get a job. Um, <laughs> Um, anyway, LinkedIn right now is going through a Facebook 2012 moment. You right now have a business or trying to build a profile or trying to communicate something to the world, have no followers on LinkedIn, produce content and the organic reach and consumption is remarkably high. It will go away, they always do. It went away on MySpace, it went away on Facebook, it went, goes away everywhere. It's supply and demand of attention. So, one thing I definitely wanted to get across before I got off here, contention is getting built at scale in LinkedIn for B2B businesses which have never really had a home for content like they do now and just being obsessed with over bringing value, I implore you to dig into this hypothesis world. I do not judge how one wants to consume content I just react to the truth. Last year, at this exact second, there's a huge arbitrage of organic reach within LinkedIn that I have a funny feeling will help you get something that you want, whatever that may be. And oh, by the way, as humans, where many of you may have your side hustle, if you're selling cupcakes, or your fitness program, or hair extensions, LinkedIn, which is wild. Watching it become Facebook in there instead of just B2B,